Hi and welcome to our video about Sentry.tech. Now here I am, I'm already on the website. So the website's name is called Sentry.tech. And in this video, we're just going to talk about how to access it and how to use the different features of it. Now, basically the website you can access from any browser on any device. You can use your phone, you can use your laptop, you can use your PC, or you could use your iPad or anything like that that has a browser. We would recommend you use a laptop or PC because phones unfortunately have a limitation where you have to hold it sideways and you'll see a different limitation later. Now I'm going to talk about phones later on. But for now, once you're on the website, you can see that we can use the account login up there. Now everyone at the college that does maths and English has an account. And the account and how you're going to login is based on your username and password. Now your username is simply just your college email. Now mine is richard.amy at fairham.ac.uk. Yours would be your first initial, your surname, your last three numbers of your F number at fairham.ac.uk. You need to remember to include that part of your email, your at fairham.ac.uk, otherwise it won't log you in properly. Your password and everyone's password is the same, is simply FC2020. It's capital F, capital C, 2020. Okay, and once you both put that in, you can click sign in and you'll be seeing your path. Now your path is going to show you different nuggets for you to do. Here I've just got the English ones up, but if you do maths and English, you will see that okay, you'll have a mixture of them. If you specifically want to look at English one day, or if you specifically look, want to look at maths, you can change it by toggling it up here and toggling them on and off. I'm going to toggle mathematics off, and so I'm just left with English language. Now the nuggets in the path are basically for you to do in your own time and you can use them for revision for any upcoming test or or basically if you're not struggling with whatever you looked at to that lesson, you can look at a specific nugget. Um, you can see there's some diagnostic quizzes here and we'd recommend for you to do them first and then it will give you nuggets based on things you might not know so well. OK, so your nuggets will be based on your diagnostic. So recommend you doing that. Um, down here, OK, I've scrolled down, you can see your assignments. You might have a mixture of maths and English and whatever assignments due. Here we're going to just specifically look at the English one. So your teacher would assign you your homework or your different nuggets in lesson for you to complete. Here I'm going to click on the letter writing one. And this will come up with first off, it will show you revision cards on it. So you can read these through at your own pace, at your own leisure, and it will tell you how to kind of complete the nugget and give you information about letter writing in this case. You can also change it to video, and the videos are usually about two to five minutes long, and you can watch that. It's the same kind of content that's in the revision slides. It's just in a video format. So it's up to you how you want to access it. We'd recommend you watching or looking through one of them before starting the nugget. So once you do, OK, you can hit that button and you'll come up with some questions here. OK, if you're on PC or laptop, you can just type in your answer. If you're on phone and this is where the limitation comes in, uh, if you click the box while you're holding your phone sideways, don't forget, you can swipe left and you'll get the right keypad. So I think there's a keypad for numbers, there's a keypad for letters. You just need to make sure you swipe left to see them. Once you're happy, you can click submit answer. It'll tell you if you're right or wrong. And then you can just click next question and keep going through it. If you're not sure, you can just click I don't know and move on to the next question. A lot of different questions. There's ones where they're multiple choice, which is quite nice. OK, and you can keep working through it like that. 
here you might say oh i've got to go out all right I've, i'm busy right now i'm going to finish this later you can hit the x and you can resume it at any time so if you go back to your assignments you see it's still there if you re-click it okay it'll come back up you might see the video again but if you just click on next it'll come up with the question you are on all right read through it answer the question submit answer and you keep going through all right Obviously, I'm just pressing the buttons. So once you finish the uh, the assignment, okay, you get this and you'll get your score. Now your score is the percentage you got correct. So I got three, or so I got two out of six correct. Okay, so I got a score of 33%. Now the blue one is how many questions you actually answered. Because I, se I selected don't know for quite a few questions, that's why it's so low. Also be seen right, how long you spent on the nugget and your teacher will be able to see that. Um, so if you want to, you can try again if you're not happy with your score or you can click continue. And continue, you can see that the assignment has gone because you have finished the work. But up here, OK, it's given me a new nugget and that was based on maybe things that I selected I don't know on. And then you can start this one up and read through it and the same thing, and that will help you out. So whatever questions you might get wrong, a new nugget might appear in your path, and then you can use that to revise. Um, and that is Sentry in a nutshell. So I hope you found that useful, and please do make sure you ask your lecturer for any questions you might have on anything.